If you're a Samsung phone user, I have a good news for you. One of the best and must have application for Samsung phones is now available in all countries and it is called Good Lock app. And this is a app from Samsung actually, which was only available in selected countries. And as I said, this is a must have application for Samsung phone users because using this, you can customize various aspects of your phone like home screen, lock screen, and also you can add more functionalities to your phone to do certain things easily. Like for example, you can make taking screenshot easier on your Samsung phone with gestures. Because default gesture for taking screenshot on Samsung phone doesn't work all the time and it's just too complicated. Swipe using your palm, just it just doesn't work for me. So I have a simple gesture set up for that. I think almost all the Samsung users knows about this, but most of the Samsung users may not have this or might not have heard about this before. So now, you know, this thing is available in any country, okay? If you go and search for Good Luck app in Samsung App Store, you'll see the Good Luck app will appear here. It doesn't matter where you live, it is now available everywhere. I just found out about this actually. I have been using this for a long time now actually, but it wasn't available in my country. I was using some tricks to install this, but now it is installable without using any tricks and you can also update and you can also add modules without any issues, okay? So I found out about this when I saw this comment here, finally available in every country. So there was a news floating around on the internet that Good Luck app will become available all over the world after the One UI 7 update. But it looks like, yeah, it's already available. My phone is actually running One UI 6, still waiting for the One UI 7 update, but still I can, use this app. So let me actually show you guys what modules I use. You can see I have three modules installed, Navstar, HomeUp, and Clockface. Navstar, I use it mainly to hide or make hint or pill bar transparent, okay? So when I turn this off, you can see pill bar is not transparent. It's not visible in all apps, but it's visible in some apps and you'll notice that all the time. So when I do this, the pill bar becomes transparent. The, the gesture hint button, okay? You can see at the bottom. You know what I'm talking about, okay? And next one, I use the home up. I don't do much. I mean, you can customize many things in it, but mainly I use this to change the task style, okay? So I use the stack one, but you can go with the vertical list like that. It has many options, like you can really change the way your Samsung phone looks actually. So we have the list one. Yeah, this is the default one, I think. And this looks really cool. I can actually show you guys here. This is the list one, okay. This is the grid one, okay. And this is uh, the vertical list one. Look at this, this is just amazing, okay. I just prefer stack just because it looks cool, but you can go with anything thing that you want. This is actually really cool. And you can enable the mini mode. This will make the taskbar smaller, okay? So yeah, if you prefer that, you can do that. You can customize your Samsung phone using this like however you want. There are unlimited, not unlimited, but many options to change how or Samsung phone operates or looks and all that. And I also use clock face. This is to customize your lock screen clock and just look at that, all the presets here, okay? And you can also create your own. I use this one, yeah, here, you can see. This is how my lock screen looks. I can also change things around, make them bigger, smaller, or move them wherever I want. But this is my setup, okay? I don't actually do much you know, customization, but these are the things that I have changed or customized, okay? And one more thing that I use in this is called one hand operation. This is also really cool. This is the first module that I installed and I just love it. Using this, you can change the gestures to do certain things. So in my right handle side, you can see I have changed one thing here diagonal up when i do that 
it will take a screenshot. Actually, let me show you guys. Okay, so you can see it took the screenshot when I do this. Look at that. This is super easy. By default in Samsung phones, you can only take screenshots using your palm. There is a palm gesture. You have to go like that on your phone, which just doesn't work all the time and it's not intuitive. So yeah, this is super useful if you take a lot of screenshot on your phone, which I do all the time. You can set up many other, uh, you know, gestures here. Look at the list of things you can do with the gestures. Okay. The default ones, you know, back, home, recent and all that. But just look at this. <laughs> okay. So you can do many things. Just many, many things. So this is just must have module. If you want to add more functionality or you, if you want to do certain things easily, just with like simple gestures. And these are the modules that I'm using right now, but there are many other modules you can uh, install. I can, this one is called nice shot. Uh, it will improve the taking screenshot and screen recording. Noti star. You can manage your notifications. If you're seeing this for the first time, the good luck app, you know, you should go and install it. You'll just love it. Trust me. This is just absolutely like must have application if you want to customize or you just want to add more functionality. So we have two uh, sections here, makeup and life up. Life up, adding functionality, makeup, customizing basically okay so we have the theme parks you know you can create themes for your phone you, you can completely change the look of your uh, galaxy phone actually okay so you can see you can change the volume panel color or whatever okay i should actually download this one okay let's let's customize <laughs> and we have the wonderland create 3d motion wallpapers using this this is just amazing so let's check on the theme park actually here we can create themes so we have to click on create new and from here check the wallpaper okay that's what i'm gonna use right now now i can change the color okay it's actually easy i thought that this is gonna be difficult but i want to change it drastically let's say okay just for this demo so i can select that and i can save it oh i just install it okay <laughs> i got it. green theme just for this demo okay this is how it looks right now i'm gonna go with the green theme apply and kaboom look at that and i like this actually so just for this demo this isn't my favorite color i just like the blue or black or purple something but yeah Pretty cool, right? You can also create a theme for keyboard, quick panel theme only, okay? It's not like you have to create entire theme. You can change certain things if you want to. You can also create a icon theme, okay? So basically you can change the shape, like square or, you know, how, whichever you prefer. This is interesting actually, okay? So volume panel, you can also change the color of the volume panel let's say match it with the this theme go with the green okay i'm actually going to create my own theme with my own favorite color combination and so on there are many other modules that you can try since this is now available in all countries it's easy to download you don't have to do any tricks to get it just go to galaxy store and download it and have fun customizing your phone or adding functionalities whatever you prefer okay mostly i just add functionalities to make my life easier and yeah that's it with this one hope you enjoyed it but if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun Bye bye